so guys we will be seeing discussing insertion sort in this video so what we will be taking as an input is the sequence of numbers n numbers let's say a1 a2 a n and why we would take a sequence of numbers why don't we take a set of numbers because in a set order does not matter but in a sequence order does matter so let's say if we have a set 1 2 3 4 and 4 3 2 1 these two sets are same but if we have sequence with these numbers let's say 1 2 3 4 and 4 3 2 1 these two sequences are different because in a set we don't concern about at which position element is occurring we only concern about which elements are occurring but in sequence this does matter at which position element is occurring so insertion sort algorithm concerns about at which position certain element is occurring so if we have to sort these numbers let's say 1 2 3 4 and 4 3 2 1 these would take different amount of time so that's why we don't form a set with these numbers we form a sequence with these numbers that's why we take an input as the sequence of numbers and what we would get as an output would be the permutations of these numbers which would satisfy this so we would be getting output this we will be seeing the idea behind insertion sort so it works the way many people sort a hand of playing cards so we start with an empty left hand and cards facing down on the table like this these are facing down you can't see them i have shown them so that we can illustrate it how it is done so we start with an empty left hand and card facing down on the table like this now we remove one card at a time from the table and insert it into the correct position in the left hand so how we would find the correct position so we would compare it with each of the cards already in the left hand and from right to left so first we will pick five so we will pick five and insert it in the correct position in the left hand so in the left hand we have nothing right now so we would insert it right so this is how we would insert five into this left hand now we would pick six we would compare it with five six is greater than five so six would come after five right so this is the correct position for six now we will pick three and we would compare it from right to left so we would compare it with three six we will compare with five so three correct position for three would be here now what we would do we would pick four and compare it from right to left so we would compare it with six so four would come left of six we would compare it to compare it with five four would come left of five we would compare it with three three is less than four so four would come right of three so this is the idea behind insertion sort so now we will be discussing a pseudocode for insertion sort so insertion sort takes as a parameter an array that contains a sequence of length n that is to be sorted and algorithms this algorithm sorts the input numbers in place that is it rearranges the number within the array a that is why it is also called an in place algorithm now let's apply this pseudocode to an example so let's say if we have so let's say if we have the elements 5 2 6 4 in our array so what we're gonna do is this the index jth the, the jth index index indicates the current card that is being inserted into the hand the idea we discussed behind the insertion sort so the elements a1 through g j minus 1 corresponds to the elements which are in the left hand that are already sorted and these elements that is a j plus 1 to n are the cards that are on the table right now which we have to insert it into the left hand in the sorted manner so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a variable key and store the jth element into that why let's see this and we will also take a variable i that would be indexed as j minus one this we, we need this variable to make a correct position for this element okay so now we will move forward and our i is one so this while loop will 
run so i is 1 that is greater than 0 and a of i that is 5 is greater than 2 that is key so we will move the elements how are we gonna move the elements a i plus 1 would become a i that is a of 2 would become a of 1 that is a of 2 would become 5 so now we don't have access to this element that is why we stored that element into the temporary variable because we don't have we won't have access to that element now because we move that element it gets overwritten so that's why we need to store in the temporary variable so that we can have an access to that element that is to be inserted into our left hand so now i would be decremented i would become i minus one so i was one previously and it would become zero now so now while loop would break because this condition is not being met so i would become zero and what it would do ai plus one become ai plus one would become the key so what was key key was two so a i plus one so i was zero so a of one would become this key that is two so this was the first step for the insertion sort algorithm now j would be incremented j would be j would become three so j would become three now and i would be indexed by j minus one that is two now key in this case is six so now ai is greater than key or not let's see this what is ai ai is five so five is not greater than six so we won't move anything there is nothing to be moved because these elements are already sorted and we have to insert the element which is greater than these element so we don't have to move the elements we will just insert it so ai plus one that is a of three would become six this element won't get changed it remains in this position only so now j gets incremented to 4 and i would be j minus 1 and we would store the key element as a of j so a of j is 4 now so key would be 4 now whenever ai is greater than key we have to move the element so what is ai 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 is 6 so ai is 6 so that is greater than 4 so we have to move the elements so ai plus 1 has to become a of i so what is ai plus 1 that is a of 4 has to become a of 3 so a of 4 that is has to become a of 3 that is 6 so a of 4 should have to be 6 and i should be decremented by 1 i should be decremented by 1 so i would be decremented by 1 i would be 2 we will again check the condition for while loop i that is 2 is greater than 0 and ai is also greater than key because a of 2 is 5 that is greater than 4 so we have to move again so we have to move again so a of 3 that is a of i plus 1 that is a of 3 would become a of 2 that was 5 so a of 3 has to be 5 now i get decremented again now again the condition we will check the condition for while loop i is greater than 0 but a of i a of i is not greater than key now because 2 is not greater than 4 now so this is the correct position for the key element to be inserted so we would insert that how we gonna insert how we gonna insert a of i plus 1 would become key now because the condition for while loop is not being met now because a i is not greater than key now so a of i plus 1 that is a of 2 would become the key the 4 now so a of 2 would become 4 so now we will break out of the for loop because we have gone till the length of the array that was 4 in this case so this is how the pseudocode applies to this example now we will be seeing the time complexity of insertion sort in the next video